Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. I'm starting off the vlog fresh faced and a bit dishevelled and also it's the end of the day on Monday but I'm heading to London and I've had to kind of go with the flow with this one. Honestly it's going to be like the best week ever but you know when you just have to make it happen and make it work. I literally got home from Greece last night and um opened my laptop this morning like did so many emails filed some articles tried to do a bit of work i'm going to be working on the train so um i won't show that but i will literally be like head down and focused i'm praying as well there are strikes on this week again um i feel like what is new with the train strikes like i get it but i don't get it Actually, I'll be honest, I don't get it. I think it's just ridiculous. Um, and I kind of got to the point now where I've lost the will to live. Like, trains for me, the last train home, if I'm lucky, is 10.30. So I'm always having to leave events really, really early. And I hate it because, one, I am, like, the biggest social butterfly. And I love to be in the action for as long as possible. And two, I just feel like you end up clock watching and you can't relax. So even when I do get there, I'm finding myself not really having the best time or the most, or getting the most out of the evening because I'm either dragging stuff along, got loads of bags, I've stayed in London super late or been working in London in the day. I just feel like the vibes are never right. So me and Rebecca have bit the bullet and we've booked a hotel because tomorrow we're in London again and with the train strikes, I just didn't want the, the stress and um, the anxiety and like wasting that morning when I could be working um, for like, I've got afternoon events, but like again, scattered around the day. So I've got my first like set of tr like event treatments type of thing. I'll explain more um, either in this part of the vlog or tomorrow morning, but I have treatments going on tomorrow and I've also got an event and me and Rebecca, Rebecca's literally just started a job so we are in like, I don't even know, we're crazy but we have got so much planned for this week. I am literally running through all the things again. I feel like I always do this at the start of the vlog, think about what's happening for the week ahead. So basically tonight is the launch of the Port Noir Champagne and it's Idris Elba's brand. He is gonna be there. I don't know how much of him I will be able to vlog or document because um, we've kind of been told like, obviously uh based on who he is and everything like it's it's one of those types of events it's at tramp again so i'm looking forward to having a longer stay at tramp because due to the train strikes and like train issues last time i had to leave the event and our like private dinner in the restaurant downstairs at like half past nine which was honestly awful i wanted to stay and i couldn't and i had to leave halfway through my mains and when i tell you i did not want to miss a single bite firstly i missed dessert but i did not want to miss a single bite of the mains i wolfed the entire thing down like two minutes and it was awful because i felt so rude to like all the other creators that were at the table and i just wanted to chill and relax and i honestly hate leaving early to things because i do think it's rude like Obviously the PRs understand and stuff because I've had to let them know, but um, yeah, I just kind of wish, I don't want to live in London, but I wish in those instances I had somewhere to stay um, that was like relatively cheap. Because again, hotels are not cheap. Um, despite that though, I've managed to find a cheapish hotel. It's an easy hotel in London, Victoria, and I've managed to get it for like 94 pounds. Rebecca managed to get like a deal on it which was really good um so it's like 40 something quid each which is not bad like it really isn't bad in the grand scheme of things but it's that's a rarity like that's if you can get a hotel sometimes they're fully booked and it's like near on impossible so um yeah i'm just very thankful <laughs> that this week is going to be a bit more chilled knowing that i'm staying in london tonight like i feel like i just focus the rest of the week i'm not going to be in london i'm going to be in brighton on friday which will be lovely um but yeah the week is going to be what it is i've got run club on thursday hopefully and yeah i hope you guys enjoy the vlog sorry for the fact that this is a very like high energy um start but yeah i feel like we've got to start as we mean to go on so if you aren't subscribed make sure you are and yeah tune in and check out this week's vlog let's go and just like that back again back again <laughs> okay guys we are ready for an evening with mr idris so good. I say this every single time, I'm so excited, but I genuinely am every time. I'm I know, so and I feel like the chaos is always happening when we're together, but we've got two but days it's good, together. It's good chaos. Yeah, it's like productive chaos. Yeah. We're currently just driving down the mall right now. I've got something in my eye, but my eyes 
are looking sparkly. So are yours with that red lip glowing we're literally so excited for this evening hopefully i can vlog some clips obviously it is in tramp and it's a member scrub so we'll have to see what we can do but oh Layla, wish us luck yeah wish us luck bye hey darling <laughs> 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 uh, say something you've got to say something how's the evening going uh, uh, it's all unprintable <laughs> Yes, well, anyway. You heard it here first, guys. Oh, what have you got to say, Rebecca? Well, it is Elba. Right. We're going to debrief when we get home because the, the toys here are being done. All I'm going to say is the eye contact. It's just Elba. We have a photo with him. We'll put it on screen. It's really hard to film in here because it's so busy. Cheers. Look how busy it is. No, hello girls and boys. Hello. Hello. Why is it so blurry? <laughs> I don't know. Hang on. Let me clean hello. you on. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to say nine pounds. <clears throat> Here. Do you, want to check, do you want to go through? Oh, God. That's fine. Yeah. Confirm pickup. Hello. I'm just ordering an oobs. Go on. I'll hold this. Hello, face ID. Okay, so we have just finished our evening at, um, well, can we say where it is? Yeah, we can say Tramp. Tramp um, nightclub Why for Idris Elba's Port, is it? Port, oh, it's my port, face ID was Port Noir. Is it Port Noir? Port Noir Champagne. Port Noir yeah, it's Champagne. It's a bit of a rose, guys. It's like a rose like, champagne. Also, why is this camera not focusing at the moment, guys? I do apologise for the. It's a really bad angle. Um, uh, unless maybe it's just my eyesight. Maybe it's not. No, no, no. Well, it wasn't on you. Oh. No, no. <laughs> um, it just wasn't on you, darling. <laughs> so, basically, um, we actually got to meet Idris, didn't we? We did. This comes down to genuinely Clem, a Clem Com of. Ob's per. She's amazing. She was like, Alice, you have to get a photo of Sorry, him. look at her eyes. <laughs> we look we look really drunk. I but I've had like I've, four drinks. No, had, I'm joking. I've had three. I've had like four. I've had three. I've had four and glasses. Why are my eyes so blurry? And we had a massive one. Well, we did a massive dinner, but we had five guys. We had five yeah. guys, yeah. Um, and I did nibble on a couple of canapes. I didn't. I don't have any of them, did you? I had a veggie taco. It was tiny. It was like this big. This is why you eat before events, guys, because, because they're, they're kind of like this. tiny. But anyway, we met Idris and uh, Clem, Clem introduced us. She did. And um, he took our hands. He put both his hands on oh either God. side of our hands. <laughs> Rebecca had an out of body experience. <laughs> see, I wasn't, see, I've never been an Idris fan girl until this moment. <laughs> but he took my hands, both of his hands on top of my hand. He held them and looked down at me and he said, What's your name? And I was like, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> like she was in love with him and for some reason when he asked my name I put my hand out and I said hello and he said what's your name and I was like Alice Bradley Bradley Alice Bradley I was like, I was like I'm not bloody James Bond I know he's probably gonna be the next Bond but I thought James Bond was actually gonna be there because he's quite good friends with him oh what? Mr. I, Daniel Craig yeah see I thought genuinely do you know what Daniel Craig is a bit of me oh I've seen it I've seen it my local Waitrose <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, he's, he, he um, my local waitrose, he's a regular there. Also, Alex Pettifer, if you're watching this, or Chase Crawford, you're um, also a bit of me. Please dial. Mm -hmm. I was going to say my number, but I don't Gavin want creeps. I don't want creeps. Gavin Casalegno, if you're listening. Who? Oh, the summer I turned pretty. Yeah, if you're listening, <laughs> I'm also, out of focus. I'm going to have to share You know this. my Insta. I'm also going to have to share this video on my channel. <laughs> And make the decision <laughs> what to cut and what to keep. No, the whole thing's going on. Do you know what? Do you know why it's going in, guys? Because I do fly on the wall documentary style production. I don't. <laughs> it's just vlogging. We're here with Alice Bradley. Oh, do you know what? I do actually really rate my outfit. I'm yeah, go on. Like it's a really cute outfit. This, outfit. this outfit, this dress is about five years old. Five years old, if you didn't hear that. And I love like, zoom in on those it's lovely Dorothy shoes. Perkins, and the shoes are from, they're from River Island. They're from River Island last year. Go back to the shoes. <laughs> they're from River Island. And they're so bloody good. Do you they're know what? They're so cute. I love a pointy shoe. And pointy shoes are so in. I think there was like a crazy statistic about the data of like the increase in searches for pointy shoes. Pointy shoes are the new round. I think they just look so classy. They do, I'm sorry. And yeah. I, I, I haven't got nice feet at the moment because it's marathon training so 
It also, I mean, it's illusion. autumn time. I mean, who gets regular pedicures in autumn? I know. Well, no, I would like to. Me too. If there's anyone out there who, who wants to pay for our pedicures, <laughs> would, would like to fund our pedicures. To go fund me <laughs> for my trotters. <laughs> this is a girl just trying to get an Uber home. Not even home. <laughs> to a hotel. To an easy jet. <laughs> hotel. hotel. It literally looks like the inside of a toilet. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even want to give you the shambolic room tour. <laughs> no, that's no, it's literally shocking. I I do think as well. People people think that my life is like ninety nine percent luxury. It is, but we joked about this before because we were like expectation was what we actually are willing to pay for. <laughs> Two completely different things. Is, out, is this our Uber J U K? Um, no, Y H B. Okay. Turns out we oh here. Good morning guys, we've had a bit of a stressful start to the day, well not stressful but just like, I know it has been for poor Rebecca, she is not doing too good, I've just bought her a little hot choc, yeah. does it taste good? It's delicious, thank you very much. I'm not well. feeling too well guys, I have had no one there, cold yeah. everyone's got, and also I started my new job yesterday and I've logged on, um, it's, it's locked. So, so I had a panic this morning. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's okay. We're gonna have our hot drinks. We're gonna be productive in here. We basically got about two hours in here, and then we'll probably leave um, to head to our appointment. But yeah, I thought we would just start the start the vlog off and say like what we're doing, where we are. Um, we're in a really very quite busy Starbucks as well, so I don't know how much footage I'll be able to get of us like working. But I thought I'd just let you know that it is Tuesday and. There's not a hangover in sight, although I don't know how much of yesterday's clip I put in the video because I'm not gonna lie, we just got like, we just got so into just chatting rubbish on the vlog. So you might have seen some of it, you might not have seen it. Um, but yeah, last night's event was nice. We got back to our room and just crashed and like fell asleep and honestly it was the best thing ever. So yeah, happy day. Very, very happy to be working with this one. Hopefully we can cheer her up with a good yeah. facial and a hot chalk. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, when we have it now. Um maybe like three months ago. Yeah. And how are you? Are you 26? Okay, fine. Yeah. 
let's let's have a look at it. Probably have that one as well. Okay, fine. Don't want to be doing too much, like I've just said to you, too much too soon in life. Okay. Um, so if we do a little bit, you do have a fair bit of movement that's come back. Yeah. Here, and yes, you can see your eyes are perfect. That's so skin. Nice. Right, I think your skin, what has Abby said about your skin? I've got quite textured skin. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, very, um, yeah. I've always yeah. had it. I've always yeah. felt like I need to moisturise all the time. Yeah, fine. The hydration will help. It's a good deep cleanse. Mm. It'll get rid of all the crud in your face. Um, I think keep up with some really good skincare to make sure it's got active ingredients. Yes. I think at your age you need to be focusing on skin health, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Like Botox is great, it's muscle relaxant, it'll stop you from moving. You yeah. don't want to completely freeze yourself because then when you get older, you yeah. just have this sensation, um, Rebecca, you will then not be able to have any Botox, it won't work. Ah, okay. So, that's interesting. Yeah, okay. I think if I'm going to do any today, it's a light, light flush. Right. Okay. And that's not me being stingy. No. That's me looking after No, you that's, long that's good to know. Well, that's I think you should know. start by eating, because we're doing great jobs and we've had other stuff today, mm -hmm. we have to wait for days to fully settle. Mm -hmm. And this would be nice for you as well, Rebecca. I think you guys have to start thinking about skin booster injection. Okay. At your age, you can have as much of that as you want. I know. And it's not going to cause any long term issues where mm -hmm. we need to treat you later on life other mm -hmm. things. So, and what tends to be in that? So you've got this different types, we've got the fire, density, silica, we've got a new one called green which is driving like sand and stuff. I mean this stuff is going off, it's right? Crazy. It is it's at the profile. Yeah, the profile you're way too young for. Oh, okay. like, That's oh, the neck, isn't it? Jowly like the neck yeah. and like saggy skin, like mm -hmm. you're way too but you're really good candidate for something like the density or the polynuclear type. Okay. Because what they do is they contain amino acids, hyaluronic acids and vitamins. Which you naturally have in the body, but sadly your production of it is depleting. Right. And with that comes dehydrated skin, uh, loss of elasticity. Mm -hmm. So your facial expressions that you're making, your skin's not stacking back. No, no. very it's, true. It's, you know, when you get an old lady, you go like that with her skin, it's like, yeah, oh my it gosh. has no elasticity. Yeah. Elasticity and hydration are needed for youthful looking skin. Mm -hmm. Botox and fillers. Mm -hmm. So, what can we get? And Botox and fillers don't do that. Yeah. Filler fills, yeah. Botox yeah. relaxing. So okay. that's not giving you hydration and acidity, and that's all you need to do. Mm -hmm. So I get that you've got slightly stronger movements here. Yeah. But the reason why it's look at me, I'm moving like loads. I'm 36. And I have the most amazing. Amazing, amazing. I don't, yeah, I don't, <laughs> yeah. You have the most amazing. I really face. don't. I have my makeup that's it, but thank you. Um, <laughs> I don't feel that at all. You don't just have like face girls. No, no. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. It comes yeah. from, it comes from I'm good I'm in the beard. Yeah, the beard. Like, yeah. Imagine if I look like a foot. You'd be like, I'm 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 February, March. I really yeah, okay. want to start doing the skin boosting. Yes. We're going to send you both info about it. You don't, oh, you don't have to come to me. I'm not yeah. trying to approach your skin, but I'm just. Well, no, I will, because now I feel comfortable with you. It's a mission for you, we'll figure it out there. But Definitely. I just think that is where your time and efforts and money is more well spent mm -hmm. because that is what's feeding your skin that you're losing. Yeah. And I've actually been doing more of that to myself and my patients of your age into their 40s. Eating off the Botox, feeling the skin with mm -hmm. because people want to move. Yeah. But the, the, the side effect of Botox is no movement, then you get no wrinkles. Yes. Well, have the movement, so just treat the skin, then you can have the rest of the boat. That's so true. But you have to believe in the process because the Botox, as you know from having it before, you get that hit. Like, yeah. oh, it's like a dog. Oh, I mean, it's, like, it's crap. It's frozen. <laughs> yeah. I'm frozen. I love yeah. it. Yeah, but it's not good for you. <laughs> no, uh, it's so, not. No. So you get that kind of initial oof, whereas the skin mm -hmm. boosters, you don't walk out thinking, oh, Feel it. You, ju you just have to trust the process, and it does work. Well. Amazing. Right. Let's do your thing. So, are you any medications or anything? No. Do you mind, Abby? My girl takes photos of us. Of course. Yeah. Please do. You know, you can't Hello guys, so it's been a bit of time since we last reconvened. We've got some makeup on once again. We've actually found ourselves, well, Rebecca managed to wangle a free 
like induction day at this workspace called Space Made. This is the Fulham branch and it's been a dream. It's been so lovely. You get unlimited, it's like a wee work. Unlimited coffee, unlimited tea. But the vibe is so much nicer. She had a little, was like managing it. She yeah. like a breakfast spread with granola, with bread, with yogurt. Cookies, yogurt. It was it was it was really indulgent and we've had like the most productive day like both of us had workloads out of our ears and eyes we sat here and we just made it really nice and the views guys like look how nice this is it's honestly felt so corporate today i've loved it you've got your corporate look on we're about to head to the la space launch another day another bit of lorna yeah love it looking forward to it it's gonna be so good but we're gonna head there, quickly show our faces because we can't stay too long no. because it's been a long 24 hours. It has been very long 24 48, hours. 48 hours, really. And my bed is calling my name. Yes, and that's one thing that me and Rebecca have spot on. We, without doubt, have the same mindset about everything. Like, <laughs> we're, we're like, should we just show ourselves for half an hour and then go home? I was like, yes, that's exactly what we're going to do. So, there we go. But we've had a lovely amazing day with treatments and we had idris yesterday and now we're gonna have a bit lorna so i know she did and she coped with it so well bear in mind guys i'm really scared but she did so well yeah so off we go see you in a while crocodile see you later <laughs> I probably won't have any content here, so sorry. <laughs> Hey gang, so it's Thursday today and I have been working all morning on some stuff for all sorts of bits of work. I feel like work is just coming out my eyes, ears, everywhere. Like I'm just playing serious catch up and today, tomorrow and like the weekend is just gonna be full blown like catch up, catch up mode except Sunday which I'm driving up to London with Tasha for a shoot date. So needed because I've literally not shot any autumn winter stuff like for ages. I don't even think I've really done like a proper autumn winter shoot yet. So I'm like itching to do that, trying to get like ideas and I really wanna like rework and like rewear pieces from last season because I have so much stuff for autumn winter. Like I literally do not need anything new. Um, so please help me. Like, help me hold myself accountable to that because I do not need it. Um, just also wanted to update on my Botox treatment, which you would have seen I got done on Tuesday. I pretty much cannot move. Uh, there's a tiny bit of movement, which I think will probably um, go by like this weekend. I find Botox just sinks in really quickly for me. Obviously as well, I've already had a dosage, so um, I think about like three months ago I had a dosage, so there wasn't like much to do. Luckily, you know, we were talking about like prevention and not getting to that stage where I'm like becoming dependent on it, um, which I don't want anyway, and I'm, I'm very sparing. I'm not doing it like every three months. Um, that is going to see me through now until at least ne like early next year, like spring next year. So um, yeah, that's it for me for now, I think. Um, I'll probably get it done like before the marathon, just so I'm looking like super put together um but yeah not that that's gonna help me in any way shape or form i'm sorry for the rambles i've literally not spoken to anyone today so um yeah it's just been me myself and i and it's like half past two so um thought i would just go through some pr that i've received this week i've, I've had more i know i have but i feel like i've like already put it out or like taken a picture of it but not posted it on socials like i've been really bad at that saying i'm gonna post stuff because i've had so much stuff to post my trip to greece um monday like idris elba's event and um the lawn lux event i had 
what else i've had loads of stuff on this week the vlog probably doesn't look like it but i have been rushed off my feet this week um but yeah let me go through some of the parcels that i've received the first one being this reflex active watch which i'm really excited to try because i have a garmin i'm actually this is on on loan from a friend so um i'm like borrowing it to see if i like it i mean to be honest i'm pretty much sold on it i couldn't tell you for the life of me what garmin this is um so i do apologize but i do really rate the garments i think they're great um battery life is amazing but this is a reflex active watch which oh wow it's pretty accessible in terms of pricing i'll link everything below so you can check it out but i went for the pink strap that looks literally i'm sorry like an apple watch what that's mad I'm going to try this out. So this says it's got a step counter, heart rate monitor, sleep tracking, swimming feature, multi-activity tracking, calorie tracking, breathing exercises, cycle tracking. This is mad. S sedentary reminders, hydration alerts. This is like telling you everything you need to know when it comes to your running journey or your fitness journey. I can't wait to try this. I feel like seven day battery life. That's nuts. Okay. I need to give this a go. I think I need to do like a trial like this against the Garmin and see, because I find there are some discrepancies. Um, my brother came with me on like a, a run and we literally had the same exact route. And I had done, I think I'd done more or less steps than him. I can't remember what it was doing. Oh, I think it, his was saying more steps, but I was like, that's impossible. So um, yeah i feel like i don't know whether the samsung's are 100 percent. and there's a water bottle this is really cute so really really cute little pr package here i'm gonna shoot some pics of it and then we'll move on to the rest of the stuff next up is a delivery from a brand called koya now they have just released this brand new passion fruit spirit which i'm so excited to try we've got some cocktail recipes here and I feel like this is gonna be great for anyone who loves like a porn star, like a classic porn star martini. This is like so easy to recreate and just get the easiest, quickest cocktail with passion fruit in. I am so looking forward to trying this out properly. I feel like I want to do something with this at the weekend, just as a little um, tipple. But yeah, really, really love this. 31% alcohol, wow. Okie dokie that strong um but this says infused with the fruit pulp in pisco spirit drink koya and pisco 1615 the perfect blend freshness and flavor in every drop shake likely to mix now this looks so good can't wait to try it now the next pr parcel could not be better timed this is such a dream delivery from neom and such a cute thing to receive when you've come back from your travels and you've come back to a colder drearier england and you've got a hibernate candle waiting for you a pair of socks bed socks which might i just add are one of my favorite things i live in socks i love a bed sock some matches and this cute little cookie it's a vegan chocolate peanut butter cookie and this little note card which says we are so excited to share with you our brand new limited edition hibernate launching the 2nd of october as the dark nights draw in, the cold, crisp mornings arrive and leaves the glow with bright burnt orange. You know that autumn is here. It's the perfect time to put your feet up, power down and recharge with Neom's Hibernate Candle. A gorgeous blend of six essential oils and extracts including sweet and creamy vanilla, grounding patchouli and rich woody notes of cedarwood, all expertly blended to help you feel cocooned, calmed and relaxed. Now, I would say the smell of this candle, this is a three wick candle and I have just given it a whiff, it smells exactly like a Terry's chocolate orange, which seems strange because it's vanilla patchouli and cedarwood, but for some reason together, that's the smell it's giving me. Um, but I can't complain, this is a really lovely candle. I feel like this is either going to be something I light or my mum lights, or potentially just a nice gift for someone. Like I love to gift a neon candle to friends and family. I feel like it's a really, really lovely gift um, to receive, but I love this product. I feel like I kind of want it for myself, but I do have a lot of candles, so maybe I'll give it to my mum. I love it. This is a really, really cute PR package. I always love receiving from Neom. Such a treat. Thank you so much. 
And then finally, something quite festive, another treat for the countdown to Christmas, is this Candy Kittens delivery, which I am so bloody excited for. I'm again going to link this below because I loved the last Candy Kittens advent calendar, but this has seriously stepped up a level. It's much easier to like enjoy and it's just so cute this is actually all sealed up i will show um in a second but this is what it says to alice or hi alice sorry hope you enjoy your 24 days of gourmet advent calendar by the way guys i have an affiliate code it's alice 10 for 10 percent off get your hands on this calendar i'm going to link it below get your hands on it i know you guys are going to absolutely bloody love it let me show you inside and um give you a little teaser as to what to expect so this is the back of the calendar basically telling you everything's inside so this has a mix of like classic um flavors like wild strawberry and eat a mess those are like the og ones sour watermelon as well and then some of my favorites the newer ones very cherry that is probably my favorite of all time shocks apple shock strawberry raspberry and guava that one is really really lovely that's like a softer sweet it's a bit like eaten mess in terms of texture but there are 24 days of gourmet with damn irresistible i can't even speak irresistible vegan sweets look how cute oh my goodness this big one <gasps> 24 this is so exciting oh my gosh i cannot wait this is going to be basically a fight who can wake up and have their candy kitten <laughs> i'm going to share this with my family because we're all together this christmas this is so lovely thank you so much candy kittens for spoiling me and guys make sure you use my affiliate link alice 10 get your 10 percent off um and get yourself prepared also as well really nice gift for someone if you want to kind of get them excited for the countdown to christmas such a nice idea finally we've got a pixie drop which is so cool it's the five essentials five minutes foolproof like collection basically this whole set is for the entire face and i feel like it's so great the brow tamer that is a bit of me and I love the idea of the cheek gel. I've never tried a cheek gel, so I'm definitely going to give that a go. I feel like my mum would like the CC crayon, and she loves a good mascara. So I will definitely be sharing these goodies with her. But thank you so much to Pixie for the products. I will link those below as well, should you wish to shop them. I really enjoy basically any Pixie products. Pixie skincare is particularly my favourite. I have the rose oil is probably my ultimate product from Pixie, but I absolutely love um, all these products. Wow, yay. Okay, I love these so much. This is so good. Especially in a wrap. They taste amazing. <gasps> Crunchy Philip burgers. Takeaway. Look at those. Love it. Such a treat. Thank you, corn. Hey guys, so my camera's flashing red, that's always good. I might have to vlog on my phone. Um, but I'm off to Brighton to go work in a coffee shop. I'm w working in the Wolf Fox Lab coffee shop. If I can't get in there, I will definitely get into um, a coffee shop nearby, like Six or uh, Botanique or somewhere. Um, I'm going to meet Gio, so that's going to be really nice. Not, not snorkeling today, unfortunately. Um, but we're going to be just having a chit chat and talk about socials and um his instagram his instagram is popping off guys yeah i'm off to go see him it'd be really nice to catch up and check in on baby lenny the little sharky i probably won't see him although i might be able to actually i don't know i don't know whether we'll go to the water sports center but um yeah the shark is like nearly ready to go so that's crazy but off to the coffee shop gonna work just need a change of scenery and 
some different vibes for a Friday just to mix it up. Like I just want to tick off loads of things off my to-do list for today because the next few weeks are busy, busy, busy as per. Um, but yeah, let's go to Brighton. I literally can't wait. It's one of my favorite places and yeah, I just, it's a happy place. Hey gang, so it is Sunday today, isn't it? I can't believe it's Sunday. Yeah, I don't normally do like the full week for like with weekends. But we are currently in workshop living. This is Tasha's first time. What are your vibes and feelings so far? Vibes, really nice and just like bright, and airy. It's lovely. We are, I'm not gonna lie, we are starving. Um, how many lo looks have we shot? Like five and this will be, oh yeah, this, this will be like the sixth look. But um, we haven't eaten yet properly, like a proper meal. And I actually haven't even had like, well I've had a coffee, but not like a coffee shop coffee yet. Um, what is the time? It is like 1.40, it's basically lunchtime, so we are very deserving. Tash has ordered the focaccia, which is toasted, and then I've just gone for like a, a Danish swirly thing, which is epic. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to end the vlog with the Sunday vibes. We've been so productive, haven't we? Yeah, productive Sunday, which is nice. I know, but don't get me wrong, it's been hot yeah. and like we've been shooting kind of autumnal kind of vibe looks but it's been worth it and it's always nice just to have like the reward that is yeah. the coffee shop at the yeah. end. Yeah, it's a good way to do it actually. Isn't it? Really good. Yeah. It just, it, it is a way to kind of motivate you because I find when you shooting and you go for a coffee shop you kind of like sit down you're like I don't want yeah. to do it anymore yeah. <laughs> like so you give up don't want to carry on. yeah but so, I think yeah, we've still, yeah. we've done a lot we've shot on camera guys which I'm so happy exactly. we've shot on the yeah the 24 105 and also the 85 mil lens which I think is going to get those really nice shots um but I can't wait to see check out Tasha's feed as well and prepare for all the autumn vibes because it's going to be the best yay Okay guys, so I'm back home now and I'm just going to start unpacking all my stuff from today's shoot. It was really, really productive. Such a nice day, like the weather was gorgeous and you know when you just know the shots are going to last you for a while and just be so nice on the feed, I can't wait to post. I feel like I just need to get back into the habit of shooting like regular content because I really miss not necessarily like the shoot days like the shoot days are fun and they come with their creativity and their moment and we shot with the camera and it was really really fun just to try something a bit different from what we've been doing sort of most recently but i definitely say i prefer like the finality of it all and just knowing that i have stuff to like post and share i'd love to do more video stuff like at the moment i'm thinking about like rejigging my bedroom so i'll be able to do that but um yeah i'm really pleased with how all the shots have come out i'm gonna sit and edit some stuff i've got to edit this vlog i've got quite a few vlogs actually so i don't know when you guys are going to be seeing this one but um hopefully soonish fingers crossed um but yeah i'm gonna go basically unpack my stuff and make something to eat and um sit on my laptop i actually really want to finish the last episode of the beckhams or like david beckham's documentary it was really really nice like i really enjoyed it and it just made me like like them even more i was always like not like fans of them but just like i appreciated them and i thought they were great at what they were doing and marketing themselves but i think the documentary has been very positive for them and i think it just you know it makes him look great it makes the family look more like real and you can just get to know them better and it's i like it when documentaries do that when it's just it's not so much fly on the wall it's more telling the story from their side and that's quite nice and you realize like how savage journalism was like 20 years ago i mean it still is to this day but it's not it's not nearly as bad as what it was 20 years ago um but yeah I've, I've really enjoyed watching it so don't know what i'm going to watch after that maybe something like cozy or not and autumnal um but i'm gonna end the vlog here and um pick up the vlog camera probably tomorrow uh for the week ahead because there's a few things going on so i really hope you enjoy next week's weekly vlog as well stay tuned for that and yeah thank you so much for watching guys and if you made it this far i appreciate you and love you the content is going to get better um from here i mean i always endeavor to do better every time um but some weeks are quieter than others so 
we shall see how we go thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week